Today on Forbes, this high-tech factory makes parts for rockets and fighter jets 10 times faster. At Hadrian's Torrance, California factory, the machines keep working after their operators go home. Swing by after hours and you'll see them, displays aglow as they crank out parts in the dark. Chris Power, Hadrian's 33-year-old founder and CEO said, quote, we're running 24 seven. There's a crew of people during the day and then it just runs itself. That's what our software does for manufacturing. Power's vision is somewhat different from other startups building tech to make other companies' factories more efficient. He's developed proprietary software to run Hadrian's own factory, which allows it to churn out all types of precision metal parts for aerospace, space, and defense companies faster, more efficiently, and with fewer people. Now he wants to build out a network of cookie-cutter, high-tech machine shops across the country to shake up a giant and fragmented industry. That's a difficult and capital-intensive project, but one that Power argues is crucial for America's industrial base. Investors, including Andreessen Horowitz, Founders Fund, and Lux Capital, have bet $180 million on it, and the company is now worth roughly $500 million. While the three-year-old business is still small, having just launched commercially in 2023, it's growing fast. It brought in $3 million in revenue last year, and Power expects to increase that number tenfold this year, reaching at least $30 million as it ramps up production from its factory near Los Angeles. Those numbers helped Hadrian make the cut for this year's next billion dollar startups list, which was released last week. The next billion dollar startups list is Forbes' annual showcase of the 25 companies we think most likely to reach a $1 billion valuation. There are huge risks to building a new high-tech manufacturing business. Metal parts that go in rockets or satellites need to be extremely precise, yet production quantities of each part are very limited. That's quite different from automotive factories, where manufacturers churn out standardized parts in vast quantities. As a result, many machine shops for such specialized parts have stayed small, despite the industry being as large as $50 billion. According to Power, Hadrian currently produces thousands of parts each month, comprising hundreds of unique ones. John Hart, a professor of mechanical engineering at MIT and director of its laboratory for manufacturing and productivity, said, quote, there is certainly an opportunity to improve the speed and efficiency with which parts are made. That said, machining is still really complicated. Adrian software is what enables its existing factory to make spaceflight grade parts 10 times faster and more than 40% more efficiently than legacy manufacturers. That software allows Hadrian to take legacy designs or CAD files from customers and turn them into digital instructions to make finished parts. It also operates as a brain for the factory, letting it track and schedule jobs, and allows the machines to run on autopilot and be inspected autonomously. That permits Hadrian to produce parts at a speed that has its customers excited. This is a market where the delay in one small part can mess up an entire rocket launch or postpone a delivery of a needed fighter jet. Dana Grayson, co-founder of Construct Capital, an investor in Hadrian and other manufacturing startups, said, quote, I think we're just at the early innings of how to change the whole industrials market into a technology market. Power said that the need for a more efficient machine shop is so great that Hadrian has been growing at rates of 20% or more each month, despite not having set up a sales team until this spring. Now he wants to build out additional factories, speeding towards his vision of a network of automated plants across the country that can, as he sees it, help the U.S. maintain its industrial power against China. Power said, quote, If you want something made, we'll make it for you, higher quality, faster, and cheaper. For full coverage, be sure to watch our Forbes feature video on Hadrian and Chris Power, and check out Amy Feldman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.